Hello guys, this is Raven from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 105. It was announced by Crafton that they will be focused on the release of Battlegrounds Mobile India prior to the PUBG new state available in the country. As a result, the pre-registration for the rebranded version of PUBG Mobile India begin on 18th May on Google Play Store. Yesterday, Crafton thanked the gamers to make a pre-registration a huge success and revealed that the game has received around 7.6 million pre-registration on its opening day, crossing now 20 million pre-registration in 2 weeks. Let's see what are the difference between the PUBG Mobile versus the PUBG New State. There are five significant differences between these two titles. First is backdrop. VR players must know that PUBG New State has a futuristic background. The game is all set in the year 2051 and they can use ultra modern technology to defeat enemies. In the next we have to be like a map choice. The futuristic battle royale map in PUBG Mobile New State is called Troy, which covers 18 to 8 kilometers. G gamers can only play on this map initially. The next in the list we have weapon customization pubg new state offers its players a customization kit when they can use to buff their weapons for performance to fire mode the kit has it all there are variety of weapons offered by pubg mobile but players cannot boost their performance they can only buy skins to make them look fancier pubg new state has introduced many small features that will improve the battle royale experience for players for example electric cars are faster and stronger than the vehicles stated in pubg mobile A new version of Windows is coming on June 24, and if you are eager to learn more about it, Microsoft has dropped a teaser on its official YouTube channel. Microsoft has released a new solo fiction relaxation video that plays all the startup sound from previous version of Windows. The video lasts 11 minutes and speeding it up by 4,000 times is set to reveal the startup sound for Windows 11. The announcement even begins at 11 a.m. ET on June 24, and the invite for the launch hints a shadow in the form of 11. The next generation of Windows is expected to succeed the. Aging Windows 10 from 2015. However, Microsoft has now released an end of support date for Windows 10, which is ending in October 2025. There is a lot of question raised by the critics: Will Windows 11 will be a free update for licensed Windows 10 users? Will Microsoft support older PCs on Windows 10? What will be the performance gains from this? And how will Windows be adapted for modern folding devices? Is there any mobile version coming on? According to the tweet, the Samsung will launch the Galaxy Z Flip 3, Galaxy Z Fold 3, and Galaxy Watch 4, and the Galaxy Watch Active 4 on August 3, 2021. It is most likely that the Galaxy Buds 2 would be launched on the same day. However, the actual launch date for those devices has been remained unknown till today. Samsung will be launching its latest Galaxy Tab S7 Fan Edition model in India on June 23rd. It was revealed by Amazon Microsite. To recall, the tablet was recently announced in the European market in 5G, 4G LTE and Wi-Fi only versions. However, it is unclear if all the three variants will be introduced in India as well. This tablet bears a Full HD Plus TFT panel. It sports a 8 megapixel rear camera. It draws power from the Snapdragon 750G processor and this tablet features a 12.4 inch and has a An aspect ratio of 16 is to 10 dimension wise. Samsung has announced the release of the impressive and affordable robot vacuum cleaner. The Samsung Jetbot series for the European market. The Jetbot series starts at 499 euros for the base model, which is affordable, but the premium variant is way higher, that is 1499 euros. This is coming several months after the product were first unveiled by CES in January. The Jetbot AI also launched in South Korea last month. Samsung is increasingly releasing some of its offering in home appliance segment to its European customers before the global. All of this factored in. Realme upcoming X series smartphone, the Realme X9 and the Realme X9 Pro are in the news from the last couple of weeks. The price and the specification details of X9 Pro has been released by a leakster. As per the leakster, the Realme X9 Pro will come with a Snapdragon 870 processor, and the price of the handset will start at around 2,699 yuan, that is 30,899 Indian rupees. For the 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage model, it is a base variant. It starts at rupees 30,899, that will be around 2,699 Chinese yuan. The phone is also expected to ship with a 12 GB of RAM alongside with the 256 GB of storage. This top-end model is rumored to be priced at 2,999 yuan, that is 34,322 Indian rupees. 
Realme is rumored to host a new launch event in India very soon. The company is gearing up for the Realme GT global launch event where it will also unveil a new laptop. Later this month, the company is also set to host another event. It is expected to debut the Narzo 30 4G and 5G variants. Another product rumored to launch at the event on June 24th is a new smart TV. Realme India CEO Madhav Seth has confirmed that the company is working on launching a new 32-inch smart TV in India. If that is the case, the 32 inch inch TV could come with a 4K resolution. The display specifications include a 83% of NTSC color gamut and 90% of DCI P3 color gamut and a 16 inch to 9 aspect ratio. The other two variants offer a 178 degree viewing angle of 1.07 billion colors. The 43 and 50 inch TVs offer support for Dolby Vision 4K, Dolby Atmos audio system and built-in Chroma Boost technology. Realme new TV also feature a MediaTek quad-core processor with 2GB of RAM and Mali G52 GPU. It comes with a 16 GB of internal storage. The 32 inch variant is likely to run on Android 10 TV. Razer Opal Cells is a new headphone that comes with an active noise cancellation technology which runs on Bluetooth 5.0. It has a 60 millisecond low latency connection. If we talk about battery, with the active noise cancellation on on mode, it lasts up to 30 hours, and if the active noise cancellation is off mode, it lasts up to 40 hours. Chinese electronic manufacturer Hanker has launched the Soundcore Life P3 earbuds. The Soundcore Life P3 earbuds takes over the Soundcore Life P2 which was launched last year. The new truly wireless earbuds come with an active noise cancellation among other features that are priced at 79 euros that is around 120 dollars. Apple is set to launch their upcoming Beats Studio Buds on July 21st. The announcement will happen early in the morning. It is rumored that the design of Beats Studio Buds will be very similar to that of AirPods Pro 2. Honor is gearing up for the launch of its flagship smartphone series on June 16th. The company has already teased the design of the upcoming Honor 50 series. Ahead of the launch, the specifications and feature of three smartphones have leaked online. The first phone we gonna see is Honor 50 Software Edition, which comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 900 processor. This device will support a 6.78 inch IPS LCD panel with a full HD plus resolution. It will have a 16 megapixel front camera sensor. According to the Agarwal, the software edition variant will have a 100 megapixel primary sensor and a 8 megapixel of ultra wide sensor and a 2 megapixel of macro sensor the honor 50 and 50 pro specifications may feature a snapdragon 778 processor the vanilla model will have a 6.57 inch oled display with a full hd plus resolution in terms of optics the vanilla model will feature a quad camera setup housing a 108 megapixel primary camera it will also have a 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel of depth sensor and macro camera this phone will also feature a 32 megapixel front camera it will pack a 4300 mAh battery with 66 watt fast charging support it will weigh around 175 grams coming to the pro model it also states that the feature of 6.72 inch AMOLED display it also has the same quad camera setup found in the vanilla model the main difference around the front camera and the battery capacity the leakster claims the 32 megapixel front camera will be accomplished by secondary 12 megapixel shooter on the pro model it will also support 100 watt fast charging to charge around 4000 mAh battery in 25 minutes. Apple is likely to launch the iPad Mini 6 later this year. Ahead of the launch, the design renders of the upcoming iPad have leaked online. Tipster John Prosser has shared the design renders of the upcoming smaller iPad. The tipster citing sources claim that iPad Mini will look like a smaller iPad at 2020. It will have narrower bezels and come with an improved internals. Nokia XR20 has shown up on the Greek bench for the first time ever. It managed to net single and multi-core scores of 509 and 1455 respectively. Nokia XR20 specifications include a Snapdragon 480 processor, 4 GB of RAM and it runs on Android 11. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.